Hi, my name is Mohit. Uh, I'm the co-founder and group CTO of Inmobi. And above all, I'm a tech enthusiast. And with so many things happening and technology changing so fast, it makes me giddy. And one of the biggest things that is happening out uh, all around us is AI. And, you know, I remain curious, you know, what exactly is happening, what is going to be the impact of AI uh, on everyone's life, because it's just not the technology inflection point that we are sitting at. It's impacting everything. So whenever I have a curiosity related to other tech or AI, I have one go-to guy uh, in my company, and his name is Dr. Ian Anderson. He's our VP of uh, Data Science and AI, and he's the perfect person who can help me unfold the curious case of AI. I'll be sitting with Ian, and we'll be discussing in series of episodes, you know, what are the implications of AI on our life, technology, and some of the ethical and moral dilemma that basically is associated with the AI. So stay tuned, and I'll see you there. If I say to someone I work in AI, they're like, you are the devil. You are, we're doomed because of people like you. And I've seen some incredible work around the automated data analysis being produced by the likes of this kind of like chat GPT and so on. So it's kind of like how things have moved in that this like 12 years we've known each other is just incredible. Machine learning generates a prediction and it might be kind of what's the likelihood that the user is going to engage with say some kind of like ad. And an AI generates an action and that would might be like turning the steering wheel in a self-driving car. So you have you have always been my go-to person. You know, whenever I have questions related to AI, AI machine learning, you know, I, I thoroughly enjoy yeah. chatting yeah. with you. Uh, so before we go ahead, uh, delve into AI, I also want to tell people that, uh, you know, Ian is quite a humorous person. He's always full of jokes. So, do you want to start with joke before we get into the deeper and boring subject of it? Well, I have a, I have a funny, I have a funny tale, and so it's to do with air travel and flying. And so, when I I used to travel um, like a few years ago, and people would ask me, "What do you do for a living?" And I say, "I work in AI." People would be like, "Oh, that's very sweet, very niche little area. Like, no one's really gonna, you're not gonna bother everyone. You'll be in a darkened room somewhere." And then a, a few years later, it was like, oh, I work in AI, and it was like, that's the cutting edge, that's it, you are the latest and greatest, you are the future. And then now, there's always a risk if I say to someone I work in AI, they're like, you are the devil, you are, we're doomed because of people like you. And so now it's kind of just a funny kind of journey. So anyway, but I'm looking forward to kind of talking more about maybe why these different attitudes and like how things have changed over time. So it's going to be great. No, I think that's so, that's a, that's a very important segue. And, and you know, we go back 12 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I think, and I remember, uh, you know, when you became part of Inmobi, we acquired your company. One of the most important component was you are doing uh, a very advanced machine learning on yeah. the chipset of devices, yeah. right? You remember the location, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. you know, prediction and all that. Yeah. Wasn't that AI? So it's funny. So the term AI has kind of evolved and changed over time. And so there's sort of like, you have terms like data scientists, machine learning and AI. And a few years ago, there's this wonderful kind of analogy, and it's not my quote, but I'm going to steal it, where it was like uh, data science generates insights. Maybe you have a budget to spend yeah. and you're kind of looking to invest a million dollars in how, which country should you go after, what will give you your kind of return, some analysis. And the output might be some kind of report or PowerPoint presentation. And then machine learning generates a prediction and it might be kind of what's the likelihood that the user is going to engage with, say, some kind of like ad that's kind of been shown there. And an AI generates an action, and that would might be like turning the steering wheel in a self-driving car, or it might be kind of like adjusting like the floor pricing in some kind of dynamic marketplace. But there was this kind of feedback loop, and that was almost like a few years ago, how we would kind of like describe and think about kind of AI. And then obviously the world moved on, and everything is kind of like uh, AI, and we've seen these kind of like wonderful, incredible uh, products and things which have been out, built out. But the term in terms of like what AI means has kind of changed. And I think that the family of, of jobs that support that has also kind of changed over time because I think it was sort of 2011 time we had the Harvard Business Review which was the data scientist as the sexist job of the 21st century which I would tell everyone I and mean, I would tell my mum and I would try and uh, say everyone like I have the sexist job in the 21st century but then that's kind of evolved and I think it's quite ironic that maybe some of the actual kind of AI that's been built out since then is making aspects of that kind of data science role 
somewhat sort of redundant. And I've seen some incredible work around the automated data analysis being produced by the likes of this kind of like chat GPT and so on. So it's kind of like how things have moved in that this sort of like 12 years we've known each other. It's just incredible. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. No, that's great. And, and you know, that's, that's what, you know, I have been also telling people, look, we are in ad business yeah. and yeah. consumer business. And almost everything that we do, it's safely to say that our life depends on prediction, you know, whether it's pricing, margin, as you said, recommendation, all that. Yeah. I wonder if I can make get um, ChatGPT to write me a, a rap song in the, the style of Michelangelo to Albert Einstein, all these different kind of like crazy use cases, but the output was suddenly real. Things went from being a hypothetical, like, trust me, this is going to be good soon, to, oh my God, I can use it right now, it's here.